Okay, so we are at the Atlanta History Museum and uh, or the Atlanta History Center and right now we're gonna check out the Battle of Atlanta exhibition. Let's go ahead and check it out see what it's all about. Here we go. Okay guys, check this out. So this exhibition is, you know, obviously as I said, the Battle of Atlanta, but it's also called the Cyclorama, uh, which is pretty much a um, bigger size diorama of the battle. A lot of nice details here, and it actually extends all the way around, you know, in the name Cyclorama, so that's pretty cool. Those cannons are really nicely detailed. Continues, stretches across. You got the little railroad system here. Even more fighting going on here. Really, really nice detailed sculptures there. That concludes the cyclorama, but honestly guys, I'm really surprised by the amount of detail that went into making all of this. Uh, definitely a lot of hard working hours to paint the sculptures, to make all the sculptures, really, really interesting. So there was actually a second level and you could actually check out, um, I guess you could say from a bird's eye view of the cyclorama. Pretty cool. They got this really, really neat train over here as one exhibit. That's pretty cool. And check this out. You can actually see where the coal would have gone. So I just walked up these stairs here. Texas tender water, 1,800 gallons, coal, 4 tons. And here you have the inside view of the actual train. Really cool. That's where the coal would have gone, as you know. And there's your view. Really neat stuff, guys. Really neat. Just imagine this thing pulling up to the station and you uh, check out this awesome piece of machinery, American engineering, get inside one of those cabins and you're off. Really, really cool guys. Let's check out some of the other uh, Civil War related exhibitions that they have. I couldn't help but notice this awesome uh, battleship, World War II battleship of the uh, Atlanta and uh, 
Wow, really a big model. I mean, here's my hand. Look how big that is. Really nicely detailed. I mean, look at the detail in this thing. Whew. That must have taken hours and hours to build. I mean, look at that. Got the little torpedo boats or whatever you want to call them. Really impressive model. Okay, so we have just entered one of the other exhibitions that they have here about the Civil War in Atlanta and just the Civil War in general. And here you have a good representation of a Confederate soldier in his uniform and a Union soldier in his uniform. Really, really nice uh, display here. But the main thing I kind of wanted to check out were the actual life-size cannons that they have displayed here. Um, so we're going to make our way to there. I'm not going to film every little thing just the cannons and occasional statues and stuff so let's keep on going so i thought this would be pretty cool to show here they got some uh cannonballs and shells here displayed really really neat there you got the confederate flag in the background got some rifles let's keep on going Okay, so we're not at the cannons yet, but I just couldn't help but notice these rifles. I mean, my goodness, they're beautiful. <laughs> uh, and then also, right over here, we got some more shells, some more rifles. If you guys know what types of rifles these are, comment down below. But the main thing, the coolest thing that I think they have here, apart from the cannons, is this display of shells. I mean, look at that. That is impressive. That's a dream collection right there. Those, I believe, came from uh, mortars. But, I mean, look at my hand. But, can you imagine this thing just hurtling to, uh, out of the sky and just hits you? I mean, crushes you, actually? That's crazy. That is a nice little carriage there. Really nice little carriage here. Here we got some comparisons of cannons. Pretty neat. Let's see what it says here real quick. US model 19 or 1861 Parrot Field Rifle. Uh, 1857 Napoleon Field Gun. 1857 field gun, 1841 field howitzer. That's pretty cool. Some more rifles. Here's another good look at the uh, carriage here. And while we're here, check out this fun fact. An army of 100,000 men consumed 600 tons of supplies every day. That's crazy. Okay, so the time has come, guys. Boom. Look at that. These are the two indoor cannons that they have displayed here at the museums in a really nice condition. This, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe it's just like a supplies carrier, ammunition carrier. I'm not exactly sure, but... Um, it was definitely something that would have held supplies, obviously, in the back there. Not meant to... Uh, be used like in a combat situation <laughs> um well it was used in a combat situation but not you know as a cannon would be used okay so it's actually called the limber chest and carriage and let's see what it says here real quick uh contained 40 rounds of ammunition so yeah i was correct it was kind of like an am ammunition uh, carriage or carrier uh 40 what was it here 40 rounds of ammunition was protected from rain and sparks by a sheet of copper on the cover. The chest was usually kept about 20 yards behind the gun as a safety precaution in case of an explosion. So as I said, it wasn't really meant to be, you know, used um, 
and the heat of battle. These are usually kind of, you know, put in the back of the battle so, you know, they don't get blown up or something like that because those are pretty much a necessity during the battles. But uh, enough talk. Look at this beautiful parrot rifle uh, cannon. I mean, look at that, guys. Can you imagine seeing that at the bottom of the mountain firing at you? Those cannonballs coming at you. It's crazy. Let's take a close up at the uh, numbers here. This is 727. Can't really figure out what those say, but really cool guys. So that's pretty much what I really wanted to see apart from the Impressive collection of rifles and ammunition. There you have it. So here's a good uh, example of a mortar that would have been used back then. This one is a smaller one compared to some of the more bigger ones that they had uh, that would have fired that one round that I showed you, uh, or that one cannonball that I showed you in that um, ammunition collection. Um, but still, really, really neat piece here. So, got some ammunition here as well or shells, however you want to call it. So, yeah, guys, this is a really, really cool display at the Atlanta uh, History Center. I definitely recommend stopping by and checking this place out. Um, you know, the pricing, I guess you could say, is a little expensive, but in the end, it's really worth it to see these amazing pieces of um, our uh, military history. So, really, really cool. Uh, let's check out what else they have here. And then I'll probably end off the video once we inspect these other rooms here. Okay, so just as I exited that room, we came to kind of the finale of the exhibit. Uh, an unfortunate, sad reminder of the war and, um, you know, the toll it took. Uh, you know, 670,000 Americans died in the Civil War. Americans, guys. You know, people against people. Neighbors against neighbors, brothers against brothers. It was a bloody battle that some say had to take place and some say shouldn't have had taken place. But in my opinion, if it didn't take place, we wouldn't be the kind of country we are today. So, yeah. Okay, guys, so if you enjoyed that video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and uh, stay tuned for more upcoming videos. Uh, you know, I don't really make these types of videos a lot, mostly when I just travel around. And uh, But, you know, when I do travel, stay tuned for those uh, travel vlog videos. Um, but do stay tuned for more, you know, remote control tank videos and all that um, interesting stuff. So right behind me, I have a pretty cool statue um, and really nice little room here. So, but yeah, that's going to have to do it for this video. And I hope you enjoyed all the cool uh, stuff that they had here at this museum. If you do have a chance, make sure to uh, stop by because I definitely, you know, recommend coming here. Um, you know, it is a museum. Definitely, you know, if you're in the area, support your local museum um, because, you know, especially during these times, it is hard to stay open. And, uh, you know, they have a lot of cool stuff, you know. It's really good to learn about, you know, the past because, as they say, if you don't learn the past, you know, you'll eventually repeat it. So... Okay, see you later guys, peace.